Hello, my old school soul food family ship. Jeffrey back with another video. Like I told y'all, I'm going to go to the, uh, I think it's the Nora. I don't know how you pronounce it. Here in Hempstead, Texas, the, the only one of my favorite fruit and vegetable markets. I'm going to get me a watermelon. I'll probably get me a head of cabbage. And, uh, I don't know what else I'm going to get. Have I did a video already of this, y'all? I don't know if I did a video already coming to the uh, farmer's market. If I haven't, I'm doing another video because I need some more tomatoes and maybe some squash. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store here and here. I like to go to these small town grocery stores. I need me some pig feet and pigtails. I got a special request. One of my neighbors wants some pig feet and pigtails and cabbage. So I'm going to see if they got one in these old country grocery stores. Got some... Uh, pig feet and pigtails in one of these country grocery stores. All brand grocery stores, they usually have the best pigtails and pig feet. And a lot of it is locally grown. So that's the plan for the day. I just got off 529 hit 362. I'm going the back way to Hempstead from Katie. If you're playing along at home, and no traffic, very little traffic. Nothing but farmlands out here. Ranches uh, uh, out here. Nice, nice slow easy driving so still a little destruction left over from the because the, when the tornado came through here it came right up through this area about three weeks ago so anyway y'all i'll be back if i have something to show you before i get to hempstead and go to the farmer's market there yeah, i call it the farmer market the fruit and vegetable market and then i'm gonna try to find a small uh grocery store and see if i can go in there and find me some pig feet and pig tails I have some oxtails in that cheap, but I don't need oxtail. I got oxtails in my freezer and I need to cook. So anyway, y'all, um, I will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I'm going to show y'all out here in this area somewhere. I ain't going to tell you the exact location. This is where I get my free oxtails. Hey, y'all never know. Because y'all got to know the exact area. But uh, we are in the vicinity within one mile of the vicinity of where I get my free oxtails from the rancher out here. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to just scan the whole thing. I ain't going to put on there completely, so I ain't going to give nobody no too much of a hint. But yeah, if y'all don't know, I got a rancher out here. He gives me all the free oxtails that I can get. Every time he harvests some cows, he takes off the tails, cleans them for me, bags them up, and it tells me to come pick them up. And he live right out here on 362. Yes. So, just let y'all know that. But, anyway. I'll be back. I'm still looking at the destruction out here from the tornado. About, uh, like I said, a little bit over three weeks ago. That we had. And people are still trying to clean up from this stuff. You see trees still falling down. And, and uh, destruction is crazy trees right there down there's some trees down there there's another one right there on the road see that one there on the road down and the, and the electricity people still trying to restore they got electric oh, look at this here y'all look at those look at that there yeah it just, it just came through here and that's one of the worst hit areas out here in the Hempstead uh, Waller area out here so Anyway, y'all, when I come back, I promise you I'll be in Hempstead. We'll be back. All right, y'all, we are here. Watermelon's here. I'm looking for yellow meat, y'all. I wonder if they got the yellow meat watermelons in yet. They got all the seeds here. Let's see if they got yellow meat. Look at all the watermelons they unloaded right there. These are $9.99. I don't see the yellow yet. Twelve ninety nine, and I get small watermelon, y'all, because that's seedless. I don't, y'all already know, I don't do no seedless watermelon. These are twelve ninety nine. Those are cheap over there. Yeah, those are nine ninety nine over there. Don't give me a little small one there. I only need one. So yeah. Got those $9.99. These are two for $25.50, which is $12.99. So anyway, I'll be right back. Hey y'all, let me show you what I got so far. 
I got some plums here. I'm gonna make some plum jelly. Let me open this up. <clears throat> Got some plum, then make some plum jelly. I got my yellow squash, cabbage. I told you I gotta make cabbage and pig feet. <clears throat> got me some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, y'all. Let me show y'all these beans. I never heard of these. Y'all ever heard of these kind of beans? Perano beans. Per Peruna beans. I never heard of these before. Here's some more. I guess the same kind of bean. Yeah, I never heard of these before. I'm curious if I buy them. You know what, I'm gonna buy a bag, y'all, and I'm gonna cook them and see how they taste. I never, I never had them before. Uh, but they got all kinds of other beans. They got the white llamas, dry garbanzo, of course, black eyed peas, navy beans. <clears throat> Here's your 16 bean soup mix. Look at that. Y'all remember I made that one? Or did I do the 25? Well, anyway, 25 bean soup would be very good. So they got that in here. They got the baby llamas. Cranberry, oh, this cranberry bean. I never heard of this either. Cranberry beans. White kidney beans. Black beans, red beans, northern beans. Then you got the yellow cornmeal. You got the real grits. I got some already at home. I don't need to buy any. Put the stone yellow grits. This the real grits, y'all. They take a while to cook, but this the real grits right here. They got this yellow cornmeal, the white cornmeal. Yeah, then you got your goobers here, or we call them goobers, but peanuts. Y'all ain't from the south. We call them goobers here in the south. But, but anyway, I'll be back here once I check out of here. I think that's all I'm gonna get unless I find something else to catch my eye. So we'll be back. Look at this, y'all. Look at that watermelon. You know that's not nice. that's cold. I got this on ice, y'all, and you know this is sweet. Y'all know this is sweet. Look at that. They got some cut already. Just to show you how sweet it is. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Y'all remember this candy right here? Y'all remember that kind of candy? Y'all don't remember that. They got cherries in here. I'm not a cherry fan, but look at that, y'all. You know that Walmart's sweet. But anyway, I guess that's all I'm going to get in here today. I'm going to get my pig feet and oxtail. I sure do want to grab some more of these strawberries, y'all. But these strawberries are so sweet, y'all. But I already can, man. They got blackberries here. Made me want them to go home and make a blackberry cobbler. You know that? But anyway, <laughs> we'll be back. Y'all know this reminds me of my mom right here. You know, she loves her peanut patties. They right here. And I just don't eat them like she used to. She's a love these things. But every time I used to come here, I used to get a couple of them. Y'all remember the video that she came <clears throat> on her peanut patties and her, she loved her pork rind soup. Every time we come here, you got to have a peanut patty. They three eighty nine, dollars which ain't bad. Of course, it used to be cheaper back in the day. But yeah, my mom loved her peanut patty. Then she'd come over here and she loved these pork rinds over here. These right here. She love her pork rinds, she would get too. I don't eat pork rinds either, can you believe it? But she loved them. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be back once I get out of here. We're going to go ahead and try to find this off brand supermarket here and find me some pig feet. We'll be back. Hey, y'all, this is what I'm talking about. These small town grocery stores. See right here, Orleans Market. Small town grocery stores. They usually have the best meat. Locally, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go in here, y'all. We're gonna uh, see if I can find my pigtails and pig feet up in here. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right on we back. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this pig feet. I think we got pigtails here, huh? That's pig feet. I don't see no pigtails. Look at that pig feet right there, y'all. I think I'll get a couple of these. I'm gonna get a couple of them. They all cut and cut nice. I'm gonna get a couple of these. I don't see no pigtails. Like I say, these small town meat markets, y'all. Let me see what kind of chicken products they have over here. Let's see here. They got chicken necks. Of course, you don't know they're gonna have chicken feet. You know that. Chicken gizzards, livers. 
uh, chicken wings, of course. I can't believe they don't have no pig's tails. Got ham hocks. Turkey wings they have, of course. Turkey necks. How much of these pork bones? Man, these pork bones only $4 or something, y'all. Look, I can't get no cheaper than that. Look at that. $4 for pork bones. Oh my God, look at these pork loin chops, y'all. Look at that. Look at the price. Cheap. I think I need to get a pack of this. Look at that fat cap on there. That's what I look at. That fat cap. Just have a better fat cap on them. Oh my goodness, see these, these small town butchers, they know how to cut the meat. A lot of these butcher shops, y'all, they take the pork chop and they cut all the meat off, the fat off of it. Look at these pork chops right here. Beautiful. I'm going to get a pack of these. And I'm going to get this pack right here. And then I'm going to put these in my food safe and put it in the freezer. Oh yeah. I want to say, if you ever in a small town, go to a small town, Go to off-brand grocery store, not like Kroger, H-E-B, Skaggs, Alpha Beta, the Brookshire, and stuff like that. You can go, just go to Brookshire from here, and I'm going to show you why. Mexican bone and ribeye. I don't need ribeye, but pork uh, steaks I definitely need. So, anyway, we got cabbage here, two for six, 99 cents. Two for 99 cents, y'all. And I already bought a cabbage over there for 69 cents a pound, 69 cents each. I guess I should have waited here. I don't need a cabbage, but two for 99 cents? You can't beat that. Look at that. Two for 99 cents, y'all. Well, they got any fresh greens in here? Probably not. I don't see no fresh greens in here yet. So anyway, we'll be back. I need to grab me some ketchup, and we will be back here, y'all. In a uh, few minutes, we'll y'all something there. Look at that, got chitlins, $10 for a bucket. A whole bucket of chicken is normally, what is it, $31.59? Look at the price of them. $10. $10, wow. Of course, I don't need chicken. I have two bags of chicken in my freezer. But look at that. 10 pound bucket for $10. Somebody got room in their freezer. That's a deal right there, y'all. Like I say, these little small town grocery stores can be a gym, y'all. Can be a little gym. I can get them old school cookies in here too. Y'all remember them uh, moon cookies used to have as a kid? Let me see if they have any in here. Sometimes you can find them in here. See these old school cookies, y'all? Get some old school cookies. Old coconut macaroon cooking. Them lemon cream. Remember those? Lemon cream. I don't see the moon. There they go. We call them Big Daddy. We call them moon cookies growing up. Y'all remember these? Oh, yeah. These small town stores, I'm telling y'all, is, is, is a hidden gem. So, anyway, I'll be back because I'm going to show y'all the best place to get fried chicken in a grocery store. It's Brookshire. Now, I ain't talking about a Brookshire. I'll tell you that later when I get out of here. I'll explain where I'm going to go next and why. We'll be back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, I got me two packages of pork chops. Y'all saw the size of the pork chops I got. Two packages of pig feet. Also got me some ketchup. They had two for three dollars. Their money ketchup, name brand. And then uh I got some vanilla, real vanilla in there. And uh that was pretty much it. Like I tell y'all, these small town grocery stores are hidden gems. If you can go to a small town and go to the don't go to the major, go I'm talking about meat products. And they got butchers back in there, too. This, this is old school butchers back in there. And look what I paid here, y'all. I paid $28. Can y'all see that? $28.06 for this. So, yeah. So, anyway, like I was telling y'all, I'm going to go to Brookshire Brothers. Every small town, most of them, it's in there at 5 80% of uh, towns here in Texas, small town, have Brookshire Brothers in it. Katie even had one. And uh, they make the best. You, can, If Tyrone's with me, he would tell y'all this. He would scream it out right now. I've been eating it for years. They have the best in-house fried chicken you can ever buy. It's Brookshire Brothers. If you ever, if, if y'all watching this and got a Brookshire Brothers in your town and tried to fried chicken, let me know. The fresh, best one I grew up on is in Buffalo, Texas, close to where I grew up on. 
they make the best fried chicken. It's not even close. I don't know what they season it with. I don't know if they brine it or what. They make the best fried chicken. Here in Hempstead, they have a Brookshire, and that's why I'm just going to get me some fried chicken and take home for lunch today while I'm in this small town of Brookshire. A small town of Hempstead, Texas. They have the best. Now, like I said, they got one in Katy, right across the street from the uh, Legacy Stadium, Brookshire Brothers, and they make fried chicken. Tyrone loves it, and it's good, too. But most of the best ones is in the small, small town. Go to the Brookshire Brothers, go in the back, and where they stir the food at, they have cooked food. They cook it in-house. It ain't frozen or nothing rewarm. It's cooked in-house, fresh. And the fried chicken is absolutely amazing. That's what I'm going to go get right now. And I'm going to take y'all along and show y'all how how good it is. So that's what I'm going to have a lunch today. I'm going to get me, I might get about eight pieces, just enough to, and it's good cold too, y'all. Yeah. But if you don't feel like frying chicken and you got a small town, you got a Brookshire Brothers in there, that lady that got her a plate of food. I don't know what she got in her hand. She got her a plate of food. Look good. She got her hand held out and got her food. If you can get in her car and fit enjoy her lunch. I know that's right. But anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, here we are, Brookshire Brothers. Like I said, every small town in Texas has a Brookshire Brothers. And we're going to park right up in here. We're going to go in here. Once they get inside, I'll be back. And we're going to get us some of the best fried chicken. My mouth is watering because I know it's going to be good. Never eaten at this one. Never got it from there, but they all... I guess I got the same recipe shared, so we'll be back. All right, we are in Brooks and Brothers. We just got to find the, I guess I need to follow my smell of my nose, where the deli is, where they fry all this chicken at. But don't tell me they don't have one in here. That would trip me out. Tell me they don't have a deli in here, y'all. That's fruit or oh, deli over there. I see it over there in the corner. We'll check out their meat selection while I'm in here. They got pig feet, but they ain't a little bit cheaper, huh? No. They got pig tail. They got pig tails right here. Wow. I ain't got two packages of pig feet already, so they just have to get what they can. See how their pork chops are not the same? See that? They cut too much fat off the pork chops. They're yeah, some old school, but old small town butchers, y'all. So, got the deli over there. I'm gonna go over here. They got that fried chicken. I can smell it, y'all. I can smell it. I can smell it, smell it, smell it. I don't see it, but I smell it. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Let's see how much it is here. Oh, I smell it now. Let's see. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner plate. I just want to die. Let me show you. Let me show y'all that chicken. See that chicken right there? See that fried chicken right there, y'all? Let's see here how much it is. So I'm gonna show y'all in a second. One. Hold on, when I get up there, I'm gonna show y'all the chicken. We'll be right back. Is the chicken right here, y'all? Look at that. Look at that chicken right there. That chicken is something special, y'all. I'm telling you. Let's see what the special they got? Two piece chicken plate. I just want the chicken. I'm gonna do one with this chicken, y'all. They got some chicken over there as well. See it over there? They got cobbler. So, see that? But anyway, we'll be back. Find it back there in the back. Look at that. Look at that. Find the chicken back there in the back. Um, we got it right there. I'm telling you, this chicken is amazing. Then you got some peach cobbler right there, too, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. And I come in here for the chicken, y'all. See it? Find it back there. So, <laughs> we're going to get that eight piece. See the eight piece right here, y'all? Eight piece. Two breasts, two wings, yeah. two thighs, two legs for $12.99, y'all. That's what I want to get. They got a special eight-piece, two-piece steak there, but I'm going to get the eight-piece special. I hope you see me the fresh one back there. She just fried. We'll be back. She me that fresh back there, y'all. Look at that. Getting that fresh chicken. That's it. All right, y'all. We are back. Oh, yeah. She give me that fresh chicken, y'all, right out the fryer. So my chicken going to be nice and hot when I get home. I'm about... 18 minutes from my house. It takes me from my house here in Katy to Hempstead. It takes exactly 18 minutes because I go the back way. I don't get on the freeway. And as I told y'all coming up here, I go the back roads and cut off that freeway. And I cut off 10 minutes of my drive time just by knowing the back streets and the country roads. So I'll be back once I get to my house here and uh, show y'all what I got there. And it's been a nice little two hour road trip today, y'all. When I got my watermelon, got my cabbage, 
I'm gonna put my cabbage and uh and uh neck neck bones, cabbage and uh hick feet in the instant pot. Let that cook there while I sit down and enjoy my fresh fried chicken from Brookshire. But leave in the comment section if you're from a small town, especially here in Texas. I don't know if they have Brookshire Brothers outside of Texas, but I know they have my, all the small town here in Texas. Uh, if you've got over what two thousand people in it. They have a Brookshire Brothers in it, and then the deli, they have that fried chicken that is to die for. So, let me know. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I get to the house. All right, y'all, I made it back home here, my little haul here. Like I said, I'm going to cook these beans off in the next few weeks. I ain't never heard of these beans. Y'all ever heard of these? Let me know. I got to Google this. P-R-U-A-N-O, Pirano beans? That's not, I never, because I ain't grew up eating these, so. I don't know if they're good or bad. I got my pig feet and cabbage I got to do for my neighbor. They wanted some pig feet and pig tails. I only got pig feet. I got a double package of those. These pig feet here in the small town store there. They split already. It was amazing. Look at these. I just can't get all these pork chops, y'all. Can't you'll be proud. Look at those. Look at that fat cap on there. I'm telling you, a lot of butchers, these fancy stores, even ATB don't know how to cut pork chops like this. Look at that. Nice fat in there. Nice marbling in that pork. I'm telling you. Small town markets, y'all, is the main. Of course, I'm going to make some plum jelly. I'm going to let these plums sit out three or four days where they can ripen a little bit more. These tomatoes, you can see. I wish you could smell them. Smell. I wish I had smell of vision. Even the lady that was checking out would say, oh, man, these tomatoes smell good. When you can smell tomatoes, y'all, oh, my God. I'm going to get me some uh, sliced tea with some... Uh, with some uh, vinegar and salt and pepper. That's all I need. Got me some squash. I'm going to do me some fried squash one day. And then these chicken. Of course, my watermelon over there. Let me show y'all this chicken. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm going to show y'all this chicken. All right, y'all. Let me open this chicken up and show you a piece of it. This is my dinner, lunch, supper, however you want to say it. Look at that pretty chicken. Now. Look at that fried chicken. This chicken is absolutely amazing. Let me get a... Look at that. That's the breast. It's the best fried chicken, I'm telling y'all. Look at that. If you got a, a small town, you ever in a small town, especially if you're going through Texas, and you some Brookshire Brothers in there, and you want something to eat, I'm telling you. I've been eating this for years since I was a kid at the Brookshire Brothers in, in Buffalo, Texas. Since I was young, like 15, 16 years old, y'all. It's if we used to get this chicken, sometimes we have church events, we would order hundreds of pieces of chicken just to give to the people at the church because it was that good. Family reunions, we would order it and use that family reunion. It's that good, Brookshire Brothers. So if you got a Brookshire Brother in your town, since 1921, y'all, that's when it started, 1921. <clears throat> you know they've been doing chicken long, <clears throat> that long is good. So anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment. Please subscribe, please follow my social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing, start doing old school soul food. And the next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.